Do you have something to hide? If yes, then keep on watching. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense, and this is another episode in the series of YAWL tutorials. Today, I'll show you how to hide fields in YAWL forms. You may ask, if I want to hide a field, why do I want to include it in a YAWL form in the first place? Well, there may be several reasons. One reason may be that you have some kind of more technical variable that you want to change in an otherwise manual task and you want to hide this completely from the user. Like, for example, increasing a counter of some sort. The other motivation may be that there is some content that you may want to show or hide depending on the situation. And in today's example, I will show you both these applications. And this can be done with extended attributes in YAWL. There is a specification in the supplementary material and I'll put a link in the description below. So let's go back to the studio. Okay, hiding things. Um, we have a little workflow here where someone writes a proposal and someone else checks the proposal. And what we want to do is, if the check is negative, we want to go back to writing the proposal with some kind of comment um, that says why um, this hasn't passed the quality check. Okay, so um, we will just go through the version without these extended attributes first. So I will launch a case, um, assign this first task to me, and um, I have some proposal here. So And um, I have the, the comment field in here and also the number of checks field, which we will see in a moment why this is important. And um, I, I will just uh, complete this. And the next task is, of course, checking the proposal. And um, I have this proposal up here. I could put in a comment. And I can say this this is not okay, so it will go back to the first person. And I can see the comment. And I can amend my proposal. And now Let's say it's okay. So that was this um, this version, and um, we have finished our case. So now um, I will put in some hiding conditions here. So writing the proposal, what I want to do is if this is the first time that we write the proposal, we don't want to see the comment. So um, we go to the comment variable here and uh, put in an extended attributes, uh, hide if. And in the hide if uh, condition, we can now refer to the number of checks variable, which is zero in the first instance. So we can test equals zero. So if this is zero, we will hide this and we will also hide the number of checks. We will hide that without any condition here. That's one thing. And the next thing is in check proposal, we go to the data variables and um, we will hide the number of checks. We apply that, save it, upload it, and now see if this works. So we go to the work use. 
Now you can see I can write my proposal now. Then I go to the checking work item and um, I will say this is too short. Proposal not okay, so you can see there is no counter variable here. Go back to write proposal. And we can see the comment here, so I will say So I will put in some more text now. And now it's okay. Put my check mark here. And we're done. Okay, this concludes our little series of your tutorials on extended attributes. There are more uses, of course, and if you want to see more, just ask me questions in the comments below. See you soon.